The newly expanded costume museum located at Government House showcases a large variety of stunning pieces. The museum takes visitors on a journey through the history of the estate and officer of the lieutenant governor. Tess Van Stratton has more in this week's Vital People. This dress here, this is one of my favorite pieces as well as the 1959 Balenciaga gown. Tucked into the carriage house on the sprawling grounds of Government House is the Costume Museum. I call it Victoria's Hidden Gem because not a lot of people actually know about it. This is an outfit worn by Mrs. Dorothy Lamb, the wife of the 25th Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia, David Lamb. He was the first Chinese Canadian in the role. And it's run by a group of dedicated volunteers with the Friends of Government House Garden Society. The Costume Museum is a fabulous place to work simply because, I mean, it's a gorgeous location and everything. But the people you meet, it's the visitors who come in from all over the world and you hear some incredible stories. More than anything, I love the connection with people, the, the, the volunteers for one, the wonderful government house staff people, all of the visitors because there are so many wonderful people who come from so many places. The Honourable Stephen Point was the first Indigenous representative of the Crown in British Columbia. His wife had this piece commissioned by a local Haida artist, Dorothy Grant. The chatelaines, dresses and uniforms of former lieutenant governors tell a visual history of the Queen's representative in BC. I like the step back in time and being able to talk to people about history because I love to ramble, ramble about history. Jake only started volunteering here this year, but he's already passionate about the museum. The Queen has always been known for her different stylized of hats. Which has a special Platinum Jubilee display celebrating Queen Elizabeth's 70 years on the throne. Each year she has worn different outfits for each respective Jubilee and what the curator of this museum tried to do was kind of match the pieces that we had in our collection to what she wore. There's also a display honoring the 100th anniversary of the Remembrance Poppy this year and a tribute to the Indigenous veterans who served Canada in the First and Second World Wars in the Korean conflict. We have probably over 200 outfits, so we have enough that we can change the displays every year. So if you come this year and think, oh, I've seen the Costume Museum, come back next year, I guarantee it'll be different. This display we have here is on loan from the Abkhazi Garden. Princess Peggy Abkhazi, these were all her gowns that we have displayed here. Every outfit has a story, and these volunteers love to share them and say they get so much out of giving back. I get a feeling that it, it makes the world a better place. People who come are happy, people who volunteer are happy, and it's just good for the well-being of the community. The Costume Museum's open Tuesday to Friday until September 2nd. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.